In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new medallion event that they just added to the game. So in case you don't know, this event allows you to modify the attributes that you get on your medallions. So all you need to do is select any medallion that you want to modify and then simply use the medallion modification items to modify your medallion. So in this case, I'm using a blue quality medallion. And if I have five medallion modification items, I'll be able to modify the stats, these stats on this medallion. I'm also able to lock certain stats on my medallion by simply selecting this lock option. However, to lock these stats, I'm gonna need a stat stabilizer and an advanced stat stabilizer. So basically, you can get stat stabilizers by getting these milestone rewards. For example, if I score 50 points, I'll be able to get a stat stabilizer, which will allow me to lock any one attribute on my medallion. And if I get 800 points, I'll be able to get an advanced stat stabilizer, which will allow me to unlock a second attribute on my medallion. So basically, if I want to lock just one attribute, I'm going to need a stat stabilizer. But if I want to lock two attributes, I'm going to need a stat stabilizer as well as an advanced stat stabilizer. Now you can get a bunch of these stat and advanced stat stabilizers from the uh, milestone rewards here. So now let's talk about how the modification works. So modification can be done using these mod tools. And how do you get these mod tools? You can get them by dismantling blue or higher quality medallions. And you can see how many tools you get from each type of medallion. So the blue medallions give you two tools. The purple ones give you 10. The orange ones give you 50. And the gold ones give you 250. And you can dismantle them from right here. Just click on dismantle. And you can just select all the medallions that you want to dismantle. And it'll show you how many tools you're going to get here at the bottom of the screen. Now, sometimes your medallions might be locked. And if they are locked, you can can go all the way to the medallion page here and then select the medallion that you want to unlock and then click on this icon so right now it's right now it's unlocked so I'm gonna lock it so now it is locked it'll be something like this there will be a locked icon here and you simply click on this and it'll be unlocked now so that is if your medallions are locked and uh, you want to dismantle them Anyway, you can do that. Now, this is for modifying blue and purple quality medallions. Both blue and purple quality medallions only cost five mod tools to alter. And keep in mind that this is the cost of the first modification. During the event, the first modification gives you a 50% discount. So this is the cost with a 50% discount, which means without the discount, the cost would be 10 mod tools and not 5. If you do 10 modifications at a time, you'll only have to pay 95% of the price, which means you'll get a 5% discount on all of those 10 modifications. So that is the cost of blue and purple quality medallions. You only need so that is the cost of blue or purple quality medallions. You only need 5 mod tools with a 50% discount or 10 mod tools without a discount. However, when you want to upgrade orange or golden quality medallions, that cost is going to go up from 5 to 125 mod tools. And keep in mind, this is with the 50% discount. So if you're not getting a discount, this cost will be 250 mod tools for just one modification. Again, you can lock attributes similar to the blue and purple medallions that I just explained. So now let's take a look at the cost of doing these alterations. If you look at these packs here, there's this $1 pack that gives you 5 mod tools. Then there's this $5 pack that gives you 10 mod tools. And these packs go all the way up to a $100 pack, which gives you 70 mod tools. Now, the $5 pack can be purchased only once. The $10 pack also purchased only once. The 
$20 pack can also be purchased once. The $50 pack can also be purchased once. However, the $100 pack does not have a limit. So basically, if you buy one $100 pack in this event, you get 70 mod tools, and that isn't even enough to modify one orange quality medallion one time. You literally have to buy this pack twice to be able to do one modification on a orange or golden quality medallion. And that is with the 50% discount. If there's no discount, you literally have to buy this pack four times to do one modification. So that is how insane this event is. I don't know what the developers were thinking when they added this event, but it is just crazy how expensive it is to do modifications during this event. Also, if you look at the modification cost uh, using these golden medallions, you need one golden medallion to do one modification on an orange or golden medallion. That is if there's no 50% discount. With the 50% discount, you'll be able to do two modifications. However, since you can only get the discount on the first modification, you'll basically only be able to do one modification this event, and then you'll have to wait for the next event to do the next modification. And yes, you can save your items for the next event because it literally says here that players will retain any earned items but will lose event points. So basically, your modification tools will stay with you till the next event, but the event points will obviously reset as they always do with these events. And one more thing I want to talk about is the cost of reaching this maximum milestone in the medallion workshop event. So basically, if you read the event rules, it says that each mod tool used gets you one point in the event. And you basically need 10,000 points to get all the milestone rewards. So let's see how much it costs to get 10,000 points. We know that one $100 pack gives you 70, uh, 70 mod tools, and you need 10,000 points or 10,000 mod tools to get the maximum rewards, which means you need to buy 143 packs in order to get the maximum rewards. 143 $100 packs, which means you have to spend $14,300 just to max out this event. So clearly this event is for the biggest spenders in the game. It's not for normal players. So that's all I had for this medallion workshop video. Let me know what you guys think about this event in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. To support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see you all in the next one.